was looking for me to help um, calm her down like I normally always did and be there for her and I was upset with her because I didn't like the language that she was using and um, I was upset that she didn't listen to me and sign off when I told her to and um, so I was aggravated with her about that and told her that she knew better and um, she just said to me, you're supposed to be my mom, you're supposed to be on my side. And she took off running upstairs. It was too quiet for too long in that upstairs bedroom. Tina left, walked upstairs. I didn't really pay much attention to it. Um, and then I just heard a blood curdling scream. I just saw her hanging from her closet. When she just screamed, I, I was right to, there. Um, I tried picking her up. I. Uh, I held her and I yanked the whole closet thing out of the wall and Tina ran and got a knife so I could cut the uh, belt from around her neck and then started performing CPR. She had tears the entire time running down the side of her face the entire, until she passed away. <laughs> Just like, please, please, Megan, please. Megan was pronounced dead the next 